Now, how one state awards college credit for military experience. It's a way of both giving value for skills already developed in the field and ensuring that military students are enticed to get a degree. Hari Srinivasan has a story for our ongoing series, Rethinking College. It's part of our weekly look at education, making the grade. Headquarters 8, this is Headquarters 9, requesting a radio check over. After four years as a communication specialist in the Army, Kira Howard has decided she wants to go to college. I'm in the Army, but I also want like a formal education too. This is Headquarters 9, I read you Lima Charlie, right over. Howard believes a degree can help advance her military career. I decided to like take baby steps and get my associates and then move on to bachelor's. Give me like a thumbs up or something. Cause... When she looked around to find a college last spring, she got lucky. Based at Fort Carson in Colorado Springs, Howard enrolled at nearby Pikes Peak Community College. The campus is surrounded by military bases. Academic advisors here look for ways to translate military service to academic credits. We bring them in and we talk about all the resources here. Paul DeCecco is the director of military and veterans programs at Pikes Peak. So how do you evaluate how to get credit for those life experiences that they've had. The military issues a joint services transcript and on there it lists out the education courses that a service member attended and also what we call their military occupational specialty, what they did in the military. So if we're able to give them credit for their military experiences or their military education, we try and do that. Pikes Peak awarded Kara Howard 20 credits, moving her way ahead in her pursuit of a degree. You basically got enough credits to transfer that it shortened a year of your education. Yes. Year. This year, Colorado legislators embraced Pikes Peak's model by passing legislation to help all Colorado military and veteran students. Colorado's new law says any state-funded institution has to be able to evaluate the knowledge or skills that a student might have picked up in the military. And if that student can earn credit for it, those credits have to be transferable to every state institution. David Ortiz is a veteran advocate who helped craft the legislation. This is the right thing to do for service members and veterans. It makes them feel as if their training and service to this country not only mattered on the bigger sense, but in the particular level that they're now getting civilian credit for what they've already demonstrated. And Ortiz says it is a policy that works. Well, there's plenty of research that backs up that um, veterans that are awarded meaningful credit towards a degree are 33% more likely to take their degree to graduation, to fruition, and then be set up for success for a job in the civilian world. A former Army pilot, Ortiz, was medically retired after his helicopter crashed in Afghanistan. He says a service member's experiences are credit worthy. You go from being responsible for multi-million dollar equipment, being responsible for a dozen uh, men and women, accomplishing a mission, high intensity with quick timelines coming up where lives are on the line. And obviously the, the maturity and life experience that comes with it, but there's also professional experience that's already been gained. But the transition from intense military experience can sometimes keep veterans from returning to the classroom, especially if they feel they're starting from scratch. They're walking in with a feeling of, I've had all of these experiences, both good and bad. I've had these life experiences, and now I got to sit in English 121, English composition or basic English class with a bunch of folks who just got out of high school. So it becomes a challenge. David Ortiz says awarding credits helps address that imbalance. Those that have served for 5, 10, 20 years, some working in intelligence, some working in communications, don't start at the same footing as your 18-year-old graduating high school. Ty Upshaw retired from the Army after 21 years. He says the 15 credits he received for his military experience was a great motivator. That was a, a great boost in morale. It made me feel like everything I had done was a success. Upshaw is pursuing a bachelor's degree in business at the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs. He was able to transfer skills learned from his position in the Army's Human Resources Department to necessary courses for business school. I was deployed to Iraq, Kuwait, and Afghanistan. As a human resource specialist, I received credit for group communication, computer information science course, organizational communication, public speaking. But will awarding course credit for military experience water down the integrity of a college degree? Is military experience really comparable to college experience? Look, we're not here to give gifts. Colorado State Senator Owen Hill, one of the bill's sponsors, says 
colleges will need to do rigorous assessments. It shouldn't just be carte blanche. There needs to be a logical, well-documented, clear match. We want to make sure that we are giving credit for real work that has been done. If you give someone credit for it and they don't really know it and they're not qualified to move on with that, then we're also setting them up for failures. What the law does, though, is it puts a little push behind. Paul DeCecco says the law has opened up a needed conversation between the state's two-year and four-year colleges. What the law did is it brought everyone to the table so we could talk as equal partners. Whereas before, I don't know that there was motivation from the other major universities within Colorado to do that. Why do I want a community college telling me what I should or shouldn't accept? The law also told every university and college within Colorado that they must have this process. For his part, Ty Upshaw has plans for how he'll use his degree in business. I'm going back to school because I want to open a jazz club. I'll be able to fine tune my business plan for and target market the people we want to attract into our jazz club. Kara Howard plans to stay in the Army. College helps with getting promoted in the Army, so I really just want to take the credits and the courses to just be better at my job. Colorado joins 23 other states who have passed similar laws to give academic credit for military service. In Colorado Springs, I'm Hari Srinivasan for the PBS NewsHour.